shuts every one of them down. That's a full team kill. That was that. Another. He's looking for a third. Oh. He's gonna get it, sir. Against Kinger now in a one versus two. Once again, he finds one. He finds the second. He's still alive. Can he go in? Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. He's gonna go bar down and give Saints the lead again. Hello, Saints Nation, and welcome to today's broadcast. My name is Jax the Pride Brown, joined alongside oh Jordan. <laughs> and what a start to this broadcast. It's going to be your St. Clair Saints versus the Ryerson Rams, and going right into game is going to be Julian from the Rams fighting the back of the net just 20 seconds through. St. Clair already down a goal, and we haven't even introed yet. Yeah, that might be the fastest goal ever recorded from the start of a broadcast that St. Clair's put out, because like we said, not even done introducing each other yet. Another play, five volley. Look at Ryerson again. Like we said, barely even 20 seconds into the game, barely start the broadcast, and Ryerson with the early, like we said, what a start, but now that we're back in with St. Clair, gonna have to look to tie this one up. Yeah, that is a fusion actually coming through in the oh, starting yeah. lineup for tonight. So if we actually going to talk about the Saints starting lineup, it's going to be fusion spoods and comp coming through. No J for this one here in week seven of Nay Star League. That was another great shot coming through for the Saints, but it will not go in. Now Julian looking for a clear, but it is going to be your 6-0 and Saints versus your 2-4 and Ryerson Rams. Comp will answer back, tying it up but one apiece here after the first minute or so. But yeah, St. Clair going to come through with a heavy favorite in this game. Yeah, and so far, definitely, even though they're the heavy favorite, what a match so far. Like we said, two extremely good goals back and forth. Comp with a great reset there. Get the flip. Nice little back tap to put the ball home and tie this thing up at one room. But like we said, St. Clair definitely should have been considered, I guess, the favorites going into this. But Ryerson, they've clearly come out, and they are saying, like, we do not care what the standings say and what the records say. We're coming out to take another L on your record. And wow, another goal by St. Clair at mid-sentence. Fusion going to pick up the goal. Looks like maybe a bit of a misplay by Fat Folly there just hung the ball up way too high there in Fusion, able to come down. And Spoods looks like he was clearing out two people possibly in the net there. So St. Clair looks like they woke up and they woke up pretty quick. So Spoods actually stopped the one goalie from going in and stopping the play. And then another player ran into the player Spoods was stopping. So Spoods was stopping two players on the goal line. And it really opened things up for St. Clair for a goal. But there's Julian answering right back for one for Ryerson. We've had four goals in the first minute and 12 seconds. I can already tell that this is going to be a fully offensive game between these two teams. And I'm tied up once again 2-2. And you know, our last series, we saw so many overtimes and such long defensive stands that I'm not, I wouldn't mind having a seven or six uh, goal game here for either, either side. Like I said, both sides extremely aggressive early on on offense, just trying to immediately open up scoring chances. Spoods will try to clear it in there. But like we said, Ryerson definitely coming out on fire. Like we said, even though St. Clair counterpunched pretty, pretty well there, Ryerson immediately coming back and answering and, and getting that, that tying goal. And once again, try to put the pressure on here. We'll get the demo on Fusion. But like we said, a minute and a half in already four goals scored. I, I fear to see what the rest of this game looks like. As Another shot goes towards the net. We'll go off the post. Nothing will go through. Krusty will get the put back. And like we said, Ryerson with a 3-2 lead now. And wow, too many goals. Yeah, that is going to be Ryerson starting off with some great tempo. They are going to be in the driver's seat of this matchup, finding three of the first five goals in this matchup. And it is going to be a minute and 40 down on the clock. Your St. Clair Saints are getting tested for being a 6 and no squad. They've only dropped one game in Nace, and that was to, I believe, University of Waterloo. That was a 3-1 to series win for St. Clair. So Ryerson is definitely putting them to the test right now. Yeah, like I said, they came out extremely strong so far. They look like they do not care like we said, what the standings say, what the records say, they come out and they're trying to make a statement here against what we know is a very strong team. Like we said, even with Fusion, though, the, say the difference changed in the starting lineup, he has come in and already contributed pretty, pretty well. Got the goal. I think he maybe got an assist on the other goal, but like we said, St. Clair just have to try to find their center here, try to slow things down maybe a little bit because this fast-paced offense is definitely favoring Ryerson for the first minute and a half through the game so far, I guess two minutes now. Yeah, we're approaching the halfway marker here now throughout this one. St. Clair is still looking for an answer back. We've seen a lot of rapid goals being scored, but it has really slowed down since then. It is now going to be a very defensive game and a lot of dribbling towards the center of the field in result. And now Cobb, he went over-rotated a little bit and had no boost left to his name. Krusty will find the goal for Ryerson. Now a multi-goal advantage and his first of the game. 
I'm not sure what it is exactly, but this game has just been so weird so far. Just the like the difference, like the different kind of goals that were being scored and like what's kind of gone on. It just seems like kind of a bizarre game so far. I'm not sure exactly if St. Clair's, like you said, maybe just missing rotations or overextending or what they're doing, but Ryerson taking full advantage early and often to get up to a two goal lead here with, like I said, two minutes and 20 seconds left to play. St. Clair, like we said, they've had a couple good chances so far, but they're really gonna have to figure it out because like we said, they've only dropped one game so far. So you want to try to get back on track here and not let Ryerson get up to an early series lead. Yeah, comp for a shot, gonna go a little wide, runs up the post, and that's actually gonna be a redirect for the center, passes it over to Spoods, not able to knock it away. And this is now going to be a little bit of a midfield battle, and that's actually Fat Foley. They're looking to come through for a shot. Krusty for the rebound, not able to go. Fusion now to go for a clear. He's going to actually bait out that one little defender there, and wins out on the 50-50. Spoods for a demo will clear this one open for Comp. Coming in aggressive is going to be the play, getting sent wide. Yeah, tried to get the clear out there in front of the crease to create some space, but unfortunately the goal not able to go through. Pretty good defense so far by Ryerson. Even though they've been extending a lot and getting taking their chances off, on offense when they have found them they are double they are double committing a lot of stuff behind the line now i think they realize that if they just play a super sound defensive plan there's a very high possibility that they come away with game one here so st Clair are gonna really have to put the pedal to the metal and they're gonna have to try to make something happen now because like we said when you have a two goal disadvantage with a minute left although you can score really really fast you do not want to leave it to that last 30 45 seconds to make up two or three goals to win the game you really do not. You're going to see St. Clair get the offense going here. The Spoods finding that goal and will now put the third on the board for St. Clair. You see the nice take there from him. No defenders ready to stop this one from happening. Julian going to miss the ball. That was the golden opportunity and it will allow Spoods to find an answer. Now only trailing by one with over a minute left is looking a lot better than the multi-goal advantage Ryerson just had. Yeah, getting that one and getting that one back quick was definitely key for St. Clair because like I said, you do not want to go 45, 50 seconds, not score a goal and then have to try to rush two goals in the last 20 seconds because then that's an overextends happen mistakes happen you get a double commit shot welcome through for spoods little floater there welcome okay, redirect our, our comp rather spoods will get the goal st Clair just a little floater there towards the net the redirect will go through so two quick answers in 15 seconds for st Clair, and we are all tied up with a minute left in game one here Spoods is keeping St. Clair in this game. He's going to find the last two goals to tie this one up now with, like you were saying, under a minute left on the clock. So it's all going to come down to this. And now the next goal going to be a key factor in who comes away with the game one and who starts off the series with a bang. It is going to be in the St. Clair zone, but looking to clear it very early on. It's going to be Krusty saying, not quite yet. Goes for a shot on the net, but will be deflected away. Now a little bit of a tussle between Fusion and Krusty and a shot for Julian, but Fusion is still there and it still manages to make the save. Oh, shot coming through there for the for Krusty. Spoods will come through with the save. 30 seconds remaining. St. Clair, both teams trying to find that goal. Ball will go on net. Spoods might put it in. He will finish and put the goal, and that's a hat trick for Spoods. 5-4 lead for St. Clair. Three goals in under a minute, and they take the lead with 25 seconds remaining in game one. That is Spoods with three goals by himself unanswered. Yeah. That is going to be uh, a 4-2 score trick. line. Yeah, it was a 4-2 score line just a few moments ago. I believe it was a minute 15 left. Yeah. It was 4-2. St. Clair in the last 45 seconds have found three goals from himself. Not even St. Clair. Spoods yeah. has found three <laughs> goals from himself in the last 45 seconds and has turned this one around. St. Clair with an advantage right now. Ryerson has to find something in the next 10 seconds. Not going to be easy, though, with St. Clair still keeping this offensive pressure on. Comp for the passing play. Shot on the net, not going to go. Fat Folly for the defend, and this is their last chance right here. Julian from above, no defenders in sight. Fusion knocks it down, bouncing around the middle of the field, just needing this one to touch for the game to be over and to go to Saints' way. But Krusty is still keeping the play alive, dribbling around, but it will touch the ground, and your Saints will find game number one in this best of five series. Uh, well, we couldn't have asked for a much more exciting game one. Within five seconds of us introducing, there was maybe two goals scored for either side, and then a minute later, two more goals. A minute later, two more goals. St. Clair has to come back. Wow, what a game one. Ryerson looked like they came to play today, though. Oh, my God. They came out on fire. I'm just shocked to see a nine-goal game yeah. <laughs> as our opening. Typically, um, with these rosters leveling up and getting a little bit more improved, you don't see as many of these high-scoring games. <laughs> but it started oh, off with one geez. here today. It's going to be nine goals, two of which in the first 20 seconds. Yeah. And uh, it just was... <laughs> downhill since then goal wise but St. Clair finding that one is going to be huge for them starting off this series with a bang now a one nothing advantage and now Ryerson if they don't answer back with this game too they're going to be in some hot water yeah and if you're Ryerson that's definitely a game when you started out so strong and you looked so good on offense that's a game you really really wanted to have considering how well like we know how tough of an out St. Clair is that's a game you really didn't want to let slip although St. Clair like we said valiant effort to battle back but like I said game two kicked off here nothing doing so far for either team like we said maybe 
you see a little more conservative style from both teams this time? Because like we said, a lot of goals last game. Yeah, it is going to be the 2-4 and four Ryerson Rams and your 6-0 and oh Saints. So I believe that St. Clair was actually a little bit surprised uh, after that game one and Ryerson coming out so aggressive uh, that they were not expecting a team, um, you know, with a negative record to come out and do so like that. But Ryerson's really proving, hey, maybe uh, the record is too deceiving Ooh. for us as Julian is going to find his, I believe, third of the series yeah. for Ryerson. And that is going to be another advantage taken for themselves very early into the game. Yeah, that was a fantastic almost triple commit in the net by Ryerson. They had two people in the net working on the clear out of the goalies. And then, like we said, Julian able to just walk the ball and to get the tip there. Really, really good offense for Ryerson. Like we said, that was a really good setup. They will get the float shot again. Comp will get the save. So St. Clair not out of the weeds yet. It's still a little bit of danger, but Ryerson, they've been playing some incredible offense so far, both off of one-off chances from St. Clair overextending and both from, actually, it looks like a setup player. They're trying to get actual formation set up and it seems to be working so far. So St. Clair gonna have to figure out what kind of style to adjust to to try to get this goal back. Now we will see, but Ryerson is still keeping the pressure on with a shot and a demo coming through from Fat Folly. And now it is going to be Julian once again, ball in possession. And this is a little bit of a problem for St. Clair. Julian has definitely been the outlier yeah. for this St. Clair defense, really coming through and causing some problems. A nice passing play down to Comp. Will advance the ball forward. Spoods in the crease, ready for a center. But Fusion will take that one. Bar down, not going to go. Comp is now here to try to fight for it, but Krusty sends it away. Yeah, phenomenal scoring chance by Fusion. Just a teeny bit too high. And puts it off the crossbar and down. Wow, great collapse there by Julian. Fat ball with the setup and Julian once again getting in the score sheet for Ryerson. This guy is a one-man machine so far against St. Clair. Yeah, he has definitely been the uh, outlier, just as I was saying, uh, for the side of Ryerson. They have been so good about using Julian to their advantage. They know that he's going to be very good on the offense, very good about getting in St. Clair's face and aggressive with it. It's really been working out well. Now a multi-goal advantage. St. Clair needs to find an answer back. I don't even know if they have a shot yet in this game, as it has not been going too, too well for themselves at least on the time on attack, but that's a deep one. That might roll through, and it will from St. Clair's crease all the way to Ryerson's net. That is going to be St. Clair finding the goal. You see it from Spoots here, halfway into St. Clair's crease. That is going to be a very nice shot, 116 kilometers per hour, and that is Spoods with his fourth goal in the series. Yeah, Spoods sent that ball on a nice little one-way trip, west coast to east coast, way too fast, could not get intercepted in time by Ryerson. Excellent job of St. Clair to get one back pretty quickly here. Say plenty of time on the clock, three minutes. You have all the time of the road to set things up just don't overextend don't make any huge mistakes because Ryerson they have been playing extremely aggressive so if you're St. Clair you have to try to adjust to that now and try to remember that they are going to crash the net so just have to be ready for it yeah Spood's gonna be in control of the ball here right now and he's definitely been an outlier for this one but Fusion will find the goal St. Clair tying this one up 2-2 two, two. And a nice passing play coming down from Spoods from above. Fusion has been fitting into this roster nicely here tonight with that goal there now tying things up. About halfway through this game, it's anybody's game still to take. It's uh, Ryerson. Yes, they came through with two early goals. St. Clair, though, has been very good about answering back and uh, getting the goals required of them. So it's going to be interesting to see who can find this next goal and take the lead once again. Yeah, it looks like Styles make fights in this matchup. Like I said, we saw there's been so many defensive matchups, both in CRL and Nace or St. Clair and a couple other teams. So to see two teams just extremely high octane on all offense and showing no signs of slowing down anytime soon because like we said Fusion and Spoots have been collapsing that really hard. Fusion with a great shot there again will get picked up by Julian. St. Clair now they're putting a little bit of pressure on the back line of Ryerson as oh it's Cobb will stick it up against the post unable to get the, the, the follow through. Julian will get the save. St. Clair with a couple great chances now looking a lot better on offense now these last two minutes. Yeah comp from a floater from above gonna be sent a little bit too high though and it will go above the Ryerson net. Now with two minutes left on the clock. Spoots is looking for his fifth of the series. It's not going to go. I think his teammate tried to maybe force that over to him, but it didn't work out too, too nicely. It's now going to be Fusion battling for the ball above that Ryerson net, but not going to go. And Spoots retrieving this one, trying to go for another clear here as Comp is good for a demo. And Comp is now playing the defensive role. Comp has really been playing a lot yeah. of defense here in this game. Yeah, typically, I think we were seeing a more of Spoots play that back line and that demo person the last couple series. Maybe the switch with Fusion has put Spoots in more of an offensive position because so usually you have Jay like he's normally down to being the one scoring the goals. Shot will come through. Spoods on the assist. Fusion will score another. I, I, don't, I believe that might be a hat-trick this game or at least it's two. Yeah, two for Fusion this game. Once again, just not able to get the, the bounce off Julian. Right place, right time. Put the ball in the net. Are you able, unable to answer? And now St. Clair got to hold this lead for just a minute and a half. 
Ryerson, they've been doing phenomenal at the start of the games, finding, you know, a one to two goal lead. But St. Clair, now with three goals unanswered, has regained the lead for themselves. You just cannot be allowing this to happen. But it does look like we could see an opportunity. But no, Fusion will be playing both sides of the ball and denies that play from happening. It's also a little interesting to see, you know, the Fusion's boots offense. Like, Hop isn't over here too, too often. When he is, he's just doing stuff like this, kind yeah. of, you know, stalling out the play and whatnot. Um, but overall, I like the, the combo right now is, is also with giving Fusion a little bit more experience with this roster. Yeah, the offense has been phenomenal. One thing I would like to see is the defensive rotations tighten up a little bit because at least they're outscoring the, like, Ryerson so far the last two games. But you definitely don't want to go into every single game with, like, a one or two nothing deficit because that's not a formula that's consistent with winning. So St. Clair, they definitely need to tighten up the defensive game a little bit, but they've looked like they had a, a, almost a new spark on offense. We've seen a lot of flying around. Say Fusion has been all over the front of the net for St. Clair, and that's something they definitely have to be happy about. Great shot. Welcome through for RU. Nothing coming through. Spoods will try to get the clear. St. Clair just trying to play time at this point. Comp may get a good shot on that here. We'll get this hit. We'll get it off the ceiling and put it in the net. St. Clair with a 4-2 lead. 30 seconds remaining. That, that looks like it might be it for RU. Yeah, that's a beautiful double tap to allow Comp to take the two-goal advantage for St. Clair. Now, Ryerson with only 30 seconds left on their clock. They're going to have to find about a goal every 15 seconds if they do want to come back here against the Saints and find game two. And it's almost, I wouldn't say it's required of Ryerson to come and find this game, but they're really going to like this one if they can find it because yeah. you don't want to let St. Clair take that 2-0 lead. Once St. Clair has a 2-0 lead, you know you're Ryerson and you're a little bit disfavored of a team with St. Clair coming in with a flawless record uh, that it's going to make it hard to want to, you know, have the momentum to bring back in a reverse sweep. Yeah, and not only this, the reverse sweep, to have the lead in both games if you're Ryerson and end up slowly losing it and just watching St. Clair. St. Clair basically just had like a burst fire offense where they just, they hit Ryerson with so much offense so quickly. It didn't look like they really knew how to answer. So if you're Ryerson, like you said, you start really fast, but now you have to finish. And if you're St. Clair, the opposite. You need to start faster and you might be able to put Ryerson away a lot quicker. They will score a goal just for posterity at the end of the game. Fafali will get a nice shot on net to end the game 4-3, but St. Clair will still take game two and take a 2-0 series lead. Yeah, it's really interesting to see that one end the way it did, but it is going to be St. Clair, like you were saying, just taking that 2-0 series lead. Going to make things quite difficult on Ryerson moving forward. Now, the big thing, if you're Ryerson, is just to try to come through with a little bit better of an ending to these games. Yeah. Once you find yourself a multi-goal advantage, tighten up on the defense a little bit more, and don't allow St. Clair to do what they're currently doing. If you're St. Clair, tighten up in the beginning of the game. Don't get a super aggressive right away. You know Ryerson's going to come out hot. You have to be ready to defend that. Yeah, nice thing. If you're Ryerson, you definitely need to finish Sean because they're getting out on St. Clair pretty quickly every single time. But St. Clair, slowly but surely, they find that two-minute spree where they put up three, four goals. Ryerson just needs to find some way to either play ball control or maybe to try to start demoing some of the Saints players because, like they said, they just start so well and then it just slowly, you just slowly watch them bleed out as the rest of the game goes on. That is the case. Game three looking to come up. Ryerson looking to try to take an answer back to St. Clair here now, but it's not going to be easy as they have to win three games in a row to come away with the series win tonight at least looking for a game or two for seeding purposes if you can't find the series win. It is going to be Fat Folly, though. Immediately for Ryerson, as always, is going to keep the aggression going. Uh, Comp, though, is able to make a big save, and Spoots with a big demo will actually be an over-rotate for Ryerson, and St. Clair starting off with a one-goal lead. Comp finding that one for his first goal in quite a bit here for this series. Uh, only 23 seconds through. It's a little bit of a change of pace. Ryerson typically starting things off more aggressive, but now St. Clair. Yeah, and like we said, Ryerson, they were actually playing really aggressive. I think there was one overextend, and then if one person gets demoed, that leaves zero people left to play net. So Comp able to pretty much just get a free goal, because I think only one Ryerson person maybe would have had a chance at that ball, and they were way in St. Clair's then. So there's absolutely nothing Ryerson can do. And like we said, if you're St. Clair, this is exactly the kind of start you want. Now you want to put the pressure, maybe try to get one or two more goals, because you probably feel like you can of how the offense has played so far. And then you want to start to play the ball control and start to play time of possession. Oh, Comp Ooh. doing a great job of trying to take out some of these defenders after the ball was shot, but will not work out in his favor. We're still looking at a one nothing scoreline after the first minute of play, but Julian in the offense with possession of the ball will lose that one, but he's definitely still going to be a threat. He's definitely someone you don't want to see have the ball if you are from St. Clair's side. Spoots, though, has slowed down his play style a little bit since he's had his four or five goals unanswered. And he, never mind. Caster's <laughs> curse. Yep. Spoots will find the back of the net. 
two goal lead for St. Clair and uh, Spoods right back to his rhythm of scoring and that is going to be Fat Folly trying to go for the defending save. Krusty there as well but uh, both of them just a little bit too away from the ball and it is going to allow St. Clair to sneak that one through. And how nice you just asked Spood nicely to see hey you got a goal and he was like I got you bro don't worry about it. So immediately St. Clair 2-0 lead. Great job I say Spoods like he's playing excellent defense and then finally comes up to challenge. Perfectly timed for St. Clair. Able to get that second goal and that insurance that insurance policy. Ryerson definitely got the work cut out for them now like we said they were slow starters and now uh, they were slow finishers rather quick starters. Bar down unfortunately does not go through. Comp did not get a hold of it but Krusty just missing there and keeping the lead for, at 2 for St. Clair. Ryerson definitely going to have to find something, I would think, pretty quick because they do not want to let this time tick down. Now, Fusion and Comp actually doing a great job of moving the ball up the field now, opening this one up a little bit for St. Clair. Comp going for, or sorry, Spoods going for the defending play. He's going to keep this one bouncing around over towards this midfield position. And Comp going for a passing play to Spoods. Spoods not able to make connection on the ball. It's going to be just, honestly, it looks like St. Clair's just kind of running down the clock right now. It looks like yeah. they're just keeping this one in play over towards midfield, taking it out of their zone when need be. And there's a shot from above for Comp, not going to go. Fat Folly now in possession of the ball. Yeah, Spoods might have had a pretty good chance there if that demo didn't come through. He looked like he was lining up pretty nicely to get a shot on it there, but I'd say, and as you just mentioned about St. Clair playing, it looks like, ooh, a ball off the crossbar. Double tap, blow come through it for Krusty. So here we go, Ryerson right back in it. Still got a lot of time on the clock, and now only one goal left to get back at St. Clair. A great play from Krusty coming through. He's going to just get the nice bounce, messing up the defender for St. Clair and finding the back of the net for Ryerson. Only one goal separates these two teams here now halfway through Game 3. St. Clair looking to end the series and Ryerson looking to force a Game 4 into play. Comp pass over to Spoods. The shot from above will go off the top corner and not through. Fusion for a rebound play off the backboard. Knocks it in. Crossbar. The post is a magnet for the Saints right now. Another shot. They are firing over and over and over but nothing going through the Ryerson defense too strong and that is going to be still one goal separating these two teams that was some of Spoods will get a shot off the wall I was just about to say Spoods getting to get in the two goal lead here for St. Clair I was just about to say St. Clair looked like they were playing some of their best offense I've ever seen the last 30 seconds that passing play originally to start up this drive perfectly passed through all members shot across the net three four cracks at the crease and eventually Spoods able to see an empty net takes advantage ball off the wall St. Clair, two goal lead, two minutes left. Yeah, it's really big to regain that advantage. If you are Ryerson, now you are keeping the pressure on. It's nice to have one goal under your belt to at least have some more momentum for yourself here. It is going to be Krusty passing it over to his teammate, but nobody going to be there to receive that one. St. Clair knocking this one away. Spoods for a center, a passing play coming in for, I believe it was Fusion, but nobody will be there for that one. It's going to be St. Clair just running this clock out in the offensive zone. There's nothing that Ryerson can do to try to clear this one through, but Comp Look at this. It's just immediately yeah. stopping it before it even approaches the crease. Yeah, like it's, like the, that midline has been pretty much a fortress for St. Clair. Shot welcome through. Going to go a little bit wide to the left, but they have done a fantastic job of keeping the ball out of their end. They basically shut down Ryerson's offense outside of one or two really strong chances the second half of this game. So they just need more consistency. That dump and chase strategy has been extremely effective for them so far. So just get that ball into Ryerson's end. Play this time. Maybe get one more goal if a chance opens up with how well you've been passing the ball, but don't try to force it. You don't need to force it. Play this time out and just try to ride out of here with a clean sweep. Yeah, if you're Ryerson, now you got to score about a goal every 35 seconds or so. It's not going to be the easiest, easiest task as a minute. It might not look like a lot of time. It actually is a lot of time in Rock League, but it's not as much as you think. Yeah. St. Clair, uh, you know, this ball bounces around midfield for, uh, you know, 20 seconds or so. And next thing you know, it, Ryerson has no time left on the yeah. clock and they have to find two goals. So you have to, you know, make offense your sole idea right now. You cannot focus on anything but your offense if you are Ryerson here. Uh, if you have to triple commit to the place, so be it, because yeah. your series is on the line. Yeah, at this point, you just have to absolutely go for broke if you're Ryerson, because what do you have to lose at this point? 35 seconds, you need two goals. St. Clair, looks like they're still playing great control. Fusion and Comp will not pick up the ball, though, maybe leaving it for Spoods, but he goes back to get boost. But nonetheless, St. Clair will keep it in Ryerson's end. Like I said, they're just going to play it. Just keep the ball in the air as long as they can. Keep it keep it away from the net. You just want to kill this timeout, because Ryerson, like I said, they definitely have hit the panic button by now. They know time is not their friend. And two goals in 15 seconds with the ball deep in your end, highly unlikely outcome. 
Yeah, we'll see if they can pull it off. It is going to be comp for a clear. We'll get demoed in the process, but Spoots is just up here in the offensive zone, burning down the clock. As soon as this one hits the one second marker, it will be confirmed. St. Clair is going to take this one in 3-0 fashion over the Ryerson Rams here, still only dropping one game in the whole Nace Star League. Uh, another dominant performance. Ryerson putting up a phenomenal fight, though, making a lot of these games only separated by one goal. Yeah, Ryerson definitely made that into a dogfight, and St. Clair had to be ready to play because they were tested every single game. They had a deficit games one and two. They finally came out strong in game three and they kind of asserted dominance but Ryerson definitely came out and you could tell that they were surprised because they came out really, really hot. Yeah, St. Clair definitely surprised when Ryerson comes out in the first 30 seconds with two goals. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, okay. We're going to maybe have to focus up a little bit more on this defense but nonetheless it was a great played out game here but we still have more action on the Saints gaming channel as for tonight with Overwatch coming up just after this here. That is going to be your St. Clair Saints, I believe, versus the University of New Brunswick. And so, yeah, I got that one yeah, correct Yeah, we there. nailed so it. It is going to be try. nice to see that come into effect here after this. Uh, but with that being said, GG's all around to Ryerson. They came through with a great game. I love seeing Ontario, inner Ontario matches be played. And uh, Ryerson all the way over from Toronto with a great fight, just not able to come away with this one. Yeah, ex super exciting series. 3-0 does not tell the story of that series, so anyone looking at that, that does not. Make sure you watch, because Ryerson, the play from Julian especially, this guy, yeah. just one-man wrecking crew. I think he scored four or five goals for this series against St. Clair, I think maybe a hat-trick in one of the games. Just absolutely, we saw some great play out of Ryerson, but St. Clair able to just close out every single game just effectively and just hunker down on defense when they needed to, and they got timely stops. Yep, I'm excited to see more of Julian yep. in the future and the rest of Ryerson Rams. But with that being said, we are going to be just setting this one to a quick little break in just a few minutes. But we got a couple things to talk about beforehand. So with that being said, first things first, how about this merchandise that we're wearing? You know, I got the jacket on right now. You got Ooh. the jersey on and it looks all nice and dandy. You guys can get your t-shirts, jackets, jerseys, hoodies, crewnecks, all of that good stuff here today at acquired.ca backslash saints. All very, very comfortable and very affordable. So make sure you guys get your merch if you're looking to rep some of the St. Clair Saints stuff. That's going to be at acquire.ca backslash saints. It's like wearing a hug. You just can't go wrong with the saints merch. No, you literally can't. But uh, <laughs> that being said, we also got some sponsors to talk about here. So Crunchyroll, it is actually now available on Nintendo Switch. You guys can kick back on that Nintendo Switch and enjoy some anime. You can get your 14-day premium trial for free at crunchyroll.com backslash saints. But we can't forget about any of our other sponsors here as well. So thank you to the Tim Hortons Subway, St. Clair SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. And you viewers back at home, it would not be possible without all of you guys constantly showing love and support to the stream. But with that being said, we are going to send this one to a quick little break. I know me and you will both be back here yes, in not too, too long. It is going to be Overwatch right around the corner. Stay with us.